10, we will open up FinCom. And Darren. Yep, and Katie. this looks like it's it. And George. Who went to warrant review? I saw Darren there, Katie. I was late. Yeah. But you were there. All three of us were yeah. there. And then did Jennifer, Jennifer was there. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, she, she showed up. Yeah, yeah, she was next to me, okay. right? So I think the easiest thing, I, I, I bet none of you brought that little um, cheat sheet that went down, no, how easy the motions were. I can just say it out loud on okay. each one. And I'll write it on here as we go down it. Yeah, you got it. This? Is yep. this what I'm looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> So and organized. And had your warrants. <laughs> I'm just ready. So what we can do oh, is yes. <laughs> I explain each warrant article, and then it's nice if you the same person makes the motion and the same person seconds it for okay. typing the minutes. Okay. Uh, if that's okay. Yeah, do you guys want to uh, get the experience of making a motion and seconding it? I'll second it. <laughs> As the new guy. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, on, then on the special town meeting, Article 1, um, we have an unpaid bill mm -hmm. for uh, Middleborough Gas and Electric. Um, at the November town meeting, we had some un prior year bills, and for whatever reason, this was $513 for street light work in the Great Ponds Industrial Park. Cool. So, someone want to make a motion to approve Article One? You are. Oh okay. uh, no, I was going to say, Katie, do you want to do it or? A uh, motion to <laughs> recommend, recommend the approval. favorable. What is it? Recommend approval. So recommend approval of Article One. Second. Okay. All right. Any discussion? Pretty much housekeeping. Got to do it. So, yep. all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Okay. Um, and you know what I didn't bring in. You have it, though, the last page of the cheat sheet. Article 2 is transfers um, in this year's budget. We call them housekeeping articles of um, money that we are going to need. Uh, do I need to say them over again if you were, all three were at that meeting? I don't need. No, I think we're good. Okay. Totaling 183322 dollars. I make a motion to recommend the approval of Article 2. Second. No discussion? No, thank you. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, there will be more transfers. You know how some yeah. years we have a ton of them. Well, now the Modernization Act has uh, made it much easier, so we'll have another Finance Committee and Joint Board of Selectmen's meeting okay. after um, town meeting because yeah. there's going to be a lot of... Um, mostly departments have to transfer money between their wages and their expenses. Because as long as their, their total of wages is not negative and their total of expenses is not negative, they can't transfer money without, used to be town meeting vote. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a joint uh, meeting with Slockman and Finance Committee. Um, okay, Article 3 is we're using uh, 162000 in the reserve fund to buy some capital items in this year. With the moving of the offices, we need a copier and a plotter scanner. Um, we need stormwater management that we've talked about for several years. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be a good time, 90000 uh, for that. And the cheat sheet, what was the third thing? Um, replacement and yes, all of our uh, computers are on Windows either seven or ten. They're uh, all there, and plus the computers themselves are more than five years old. So, uh, for the police department, we are using funds from the police station uh, building committee and all the software licensing. So that's the final fifty-five thousand. Great. I make a motion to recommend approval of Article Three. Second. Any discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So Article 4. Maybe tabled and done. Oh, yeah. Yes, and I have word today. I had a long conversation with town council. This will be tabled indefinitely. Cool. This is changing right now how we receive funds 
the franchise free fees from Comcast and Verizon. Currently, they go directly to Lake Kim. Uh, they're they're a 5013C, and uh, some of the communities, the checks come to the town, and then they get. Uh, yeah, we have to do it. We turn it over to the treasurer as a receipt, and then we cut a check uh, and send it. Ours goes directly to Lake Kim, so it's going to be tabled indefinitely. Great. So we don't need any action on it, correct? No. And then Article 5 is the um, amendment to zoning bylaw amendments regarding marijuana. Yep. And were you there for the meeting that the Slackman did vote a temporary freeze on any more host community agreements? Yep. So um, Mitzi will present this. Um, planning board held their hearing. Uh, they were uh, not unanimous, but uh, they did, by majority vote, recommend approval. Well, what's it mostly changing? Uh, a couple, few things. When we had uh, medical marijuana, mm -hmm. it was um, a few couple years before adult use. Yes. So the CMRs that are quoted in here have changed mm -hmm. because it was the uh, State Department of Public Health right. that did it medical. Now it's all under the CCC. Um, but the, what the major change is right now an applicant goes to the ZBA for medical and then the selectman uh, had originally uh, put the planning board in charge of the special permitting for adult use. So ZBA is used to doing uh, special permits and so it would be better because right applicants have to go to two different boards so they thought to put it under one board so now zoning is going to do adult use and medical yes yeah in and it's interesting in a lot of towns your planning board does all special permits your zba doesn't in lakeville zba does all the special permits uh, so so but where there's a, a freeze it it's a non-issue, at least at this point, correct? Yes. Because yep. they're not coming in front of A six-month freeze, yep. and they could extend it if, um, so if they still don't know impacts because none of them are up and running. Right. That's true. We have six HCAs right now. Two are medical dispensaries and cultivation. The others, uh, we have one adult use uh, retail. In the industrial uh, park? Yes, in uh, Great Ponds. And the rest are cultivation. In industrial Great Ponds or up at Millennium Circle, which is yeah. on Route 44 mm -hmm. across from Muckies. There's a couple over there, right? Just one. Just one? But they may come back for a retail up there. Oh, right. That's what it they was. were right up front when they applied that... They were interested in both. In both. like to make a motion to recommend Article 5 for approval. Second. Any discussion? Any addition to what we've had? No. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, on the annual town meeting, it is nice now that we only have like 12 or 13 articles. Our new town accountant has combined a lot of the individual you know, school, reserve fund, stabilization, all fall under Article 1. People are going to really miss those 40 article nights, though. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get lots of complaints? <laughs> so um, this is special town meeting. So Article 1, which I do have a handout we'll give you later um, to show you what you can expect for the handout. There's a couple more things that we're still trying to finalize. Small dollar amounts, because um, I am, I did, I actually have a little money over, and okay. I'll tell you what plans were for that. But Article 1 is the town budget including the schools. And right now it is, what's his total? Approximately 28 million, 926, 955. Great. So. I'd like to make a motion to recommend Article 1. Recommend approval. Second. Yes. <laughs> Second. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
This is riveting. Okay. Article 2 is going to be for the Park Commission, uh, their budget, um, which is around 300000 like last year. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 2. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Article 3 is the landfill transfer station. And um, I was able to lower, working with Franklin, last year the subsidy from the general fund was 105000 We've got it down to 90000 That's good. And he's building up the retained earnings in that account, too. What is difficult, though, is the recycle market, the Chinese sword, and having clean recyclables. Yeah. Um, but we did uh, renew our solid waste contract with ABC Disposal for another two years, so... So are we, uh, the extra revenue, is that from additional people using it, or? Um, no, we adjusted uh, okay. bulky waste, which is couches, mm -hmm. chairs, refrigerators. We um, adjusted the price okay. so that, that, you know, sometimes the refrigerators end up costing more, so we've adjusted the price, so sometimes there's an overlap they'll go up on the prices and it takes us a little bit of time to increase okay. it mattresses have been a big thing you know you have to put them in the right new bags and yeah. it's like thirty dollars to get rid of we pay thirty to get rid of it the can gas cans from your uh, what do you so call are those? we charging thirty now or at least yeah, 30 at least thirty because uh, then we have to transport it you know yeah. so we're yeah but the uh, what do you call the gas cans on your grills Propane, propane tanks? Yeah. Propane tanks, yeah. I think um, it's $5 to bring it to the transfer station. They just recently went up. Okay. Uh, I think we have to pay 6 now. So we'll be changing, you know, Franklin yeah. keeps an eye on all of that. So. Okay. Good. Makes sense. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 3. Second. All right. No discussion? All those in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Okay, Article 4 is, um, we've been putting $20,000 a year away for contractual agreements for when um, town employees retire, mm -hmm. and I'll yeah. be in that group. Mm -hmm. And this coming year, we have some police officers and some firefighters, and they have big uh, or large um, sick day buyouts. Yeah. So when... Um, Originally, I oh I did put twenty. Oh, I did put the dollar amount in the article. You want Because I'm up to like thirty-five thousand now. So we be could do amendment? less. It's uh, you can't do four. more. Uh -huh. you can't do. You can't more. amend for more. No. On the floor. No. Wow. Just like, you can always do less, but just think of the person that reads this. Say at. Savas lookers and says, okay, I don't have a problem with that. Right. So they don't go yeah. to town meeting. Right. Um, so we could probably put it, I don't know if in the, in the stabilization account, because we're going to need more when free cash gets certified in the fall. Um, so we could just put it away at the fall town meeting, right? We could move it towards that? Put it in the stabilization and then transfer Use it. Later. it because my recommendation to the board is that when free cash gets certified, you're going to need to put more in for this year mm -hmm. because we have a highway department employee. So should we, so I guess. I learned my lesson. <laughs> should, so we have to recommend approval because we need yes, the 20000 20, Yeah, but We'll just move more in the fall. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Not everyone's retiring before then anyway. Right. No, just um, you are. <laughs> no, you are. A police officer is retiring in July. Oh yeah. Right. And then um, I think somebody in November, uh, someone else in March, and maybe two in March. So this is just to cover the sick, unused sick days and, and, and vacation, vacation pay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have to pay. So this vacation. has to cover two. Yeah. We well, have we some money all, yeah. in there. We have yeah. some money in there, uh, but. Um, it's That'll nice to build up a nice yeah. um, buffer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 4. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Okay, Article 5 is um, 978,300 in capital requests, no borrowings, and I don't know if you had a chance to look at it. Um, the first part lists all the equipment. Yeah. And right now uh, we have a fire truck that is just came off the line in like December. And the, the jaws of life is part of it. So in the motion, the 45,000 and the 425 is 470. Okay. But it looks like there might be a savings of about $18,000. So if he wants to buy other equipment with it, um, is that replacing an old truck? Yes. Are we selling that yeah. or scrapping it or something? I, I, I have less trade-in, but there's not going to be much of a trade-in. It's one of right. the ones that we bought used, if you remember. Yes. We were buying used vehicles, and we've uh, spent a lot of money to fix it. So how we came up with 978000 I sat down with the town accountant and went through old capital requests, warrant articles. Uh, and w the big one was the police station roof. We had originally borrowed 300000 and we have spent repairing it, you know, tar, yeah. uh, putting tar on it, shoveling snow off of it. That was really the large amount, 108900 We did a notice of intent back in 2011 for stormwater management, and the superintendent at the time paid for it out of his operating budget. And the notice of intent is all done and um, it got, has gone to the EPA. So that, that money's available. Hmm. Um, back in 2014, uh, there was some simulcast radios, which um, for the fire department, that was not spent. And now we're doing the radios with the police and fire together. So we can use that. I had a, uh, we had budgeted 25,000 to seal coat this parking lot fire station and town office um, it came in under budget so this 12,000 my quote was 25,000 but the company that came in uh, in we belong to the Southeast Regional Co-op for um, and off of that contract we ended up saving almost half how far back can you go to obtain these funds like Oh, anything that's um, if you don't use it in a given year it just sits there until yep, until we close it out Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it's never used against the next year. Next year. You have budget. to vote it separately. Okay. It's um, it's not like the operating budget that it goes to free cash. This money because we vote it separate. Specific cost right. pieces. Right. So okay. all of this money, if it doesn't get used um, down the road, you can use it again. Okay. For um, typ typically. Ever since I've been doing it, it, we've been using it for other capital items. It's one-time funding, technically. Yeah, yeah. So then what happened this, in 2015, 16, and 17, the Board of Assessors submitted warrant articles, and we had a change on the Board of Assessors because we used to hire out um, to have um, the assessing done. And now we uh, hired an outside consultant, RRG, so they didn't have to submit those articles. So, uh, again, it's one-time money. That consultant is included in their operating budget. Good. And I think there's a couple of smaller ones even before. Um, one was like 2500 and one was a couple thousand. So next year, the town account will probably have you use that money up too. Did we replace the assessor's car that got crashed? Uh, we're going to replace okay. it with... Um, an unmarked cruiser. Okay. Um, I didn't know if that was in there somewhere. No. Nope. Oh, no, nope. cool. we're going to um, use Just an unmarked around. cruiser. Yep. Works for me. And then the seal coating for the COA, I had $668 left over cool. on that. Cool. Then, going back uh, to some other accounts that um, have been sitting, the Water Infrastructure Stabilization Fund, that was money from when the water line Ooh. ran from the old townhouse down to here. And that we, um, the residents paid and businesses paid betterments. That is ready to be closed out. And that's $101,800. Hmm. And that, because it's a stabilization fund, this will require a two thirds vote. 
than some old properties, um, small lots probably, like in the shorefront communities. The town accountant uh, went through those and came up with 13204 Closed that account out. Then when we sold the assessor's house for $240,100, um, that money is available to be used. And then the sale of Howland Road, we have $379,840 when the state purchased it. That comes to the $734,944. And these monies for real estate, you have to use it on some something um, that has a life of five years or more. So the town accountant and I and town council went over it and they agreed that we can use it on these items. And then when we sold the water tower, to even it off, I needed to come up with about $40,000. So there's still uh, maybe 350000 left from the water tower. Cool. No. We got, we got almost four hundred thousand dollars for the water tower. Four hundred, but what it was that was just that wasn't the sale of it. Okay. We it took three years for it to go through, but when we started it, we made some debt service payments. Okay. And that agreement was they were going to reimburse us two years worth of debt service. Okay. And it, we passed like on June thirtieth, the last day of the fiscal year. Yeah. So that's you know again. One-time monies. Mm -hmm. So that the difference is sitting in an account to be yes. used at another yeah. time. Okay. And in the town meeting book, I will give you a page that tells you how much is in our regular stabilization. Okay. Because we still have a million in a stabilization for capital projects. And then it, it will list all of these, the balances in all of these accounts. And you'll see the sale of the water tower it might be 435000 Okay. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about having all of these uh, balances is uh, Standard & Poor's is going to be doing our bond rating oh, cool. uh, for the new police station. And we've been in excellent uh, financial Triple health. Uh, well, it depends. Standard & Poor's and it, Moody's. Uh, they use two different ratings. So AAA over here might be a double A plus over mm -hmm. here. Okay. But we have a good bond rating all, already, but I think it might okay. go up a little bit. Great. So. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 5. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Article 6. If you remember last year, we gave 5000 to the Middleborough Herring, uh, along with the town of Middleborough. And then uh, I guess Noam got thirty-five thousand in the state budget, thirty-five thousand more. Um, so this is. Um, do they need the five thousand then? <laughs> so do oh, they? They still need. Do they? they need a million a dollars. Really? Yeah. So our the five thousand from last year did that expire? No, because they didn't use it. No, it's in a warrant article, so it doesn't expire. So, but Middlebar was expired. That's what they had said. So is Middleborough matching 10 this year? Um, I think they did a warrant because that, that was a mix-up, too. Uh, I don't know if they submitted, but no, it didn't expire. I called Bob Nooms. Middleborough's didn't? Yeah, no. Did they do five more this year? Yep. Okay. Do we know what this is, the end result of our... Better well, water flow. For the herrings? Yes. So it's the invasives that are in the, the ponds. Well, it, then it helps our water flow, too. Mm. Trust me. I've yes. a lot of lectures you, are on you this. Missing, you missing that? No, uh, I'm not discussion. missing the ponds. I do okay. not miss that. Cool. Um, <laughs> Just help the pond people. <laughs> That's fine. We should be hearing about the grant that uh, Mitzi, oh, Mitzi applied for that pretty so soon. Um, you can't even... With the canoes, and I don't know if you canoe at all. If you go mm -hmm. in the Namaskat River, the invasives are so bad. I know. I went on the canoe trip, and they can hardly get the canoe through it. So the, so the same herring, clean it up. Is this money is to clean. Well, it all they have to go right. through conservation commission in both communities. What it's a long, day. drawn out process. Okay. Um, but Mitzi applied for a grant to at least hire the engineer for it because what how much is in the um, environmental bond bill 
1.4 million. 1.3 something? Somewhere between right. 1.3 and but 1. But we have to hire an engineer to do uh, uh, some kind of study. I'm going to forget about it pretty soon. <laughs> it's it's a, great to forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to John Potter leave to go out there with a backhoe. Okay. Yeah. And that's what they used to do. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. But now it all has to uh, go through the Conservation Commission. Mm. <laughs> used to be so simple. I'd like to recommend approval of Article 6. Second. Discussion? Hearing none. All right. Don't we, have the, don't we usually have the discussion before we? No. After your motion, you can't so, have so to So we hear it. about it. So okay. right now we're hearing about the motion. The, we, we are the talking motion. about it, though. And that, Yeah. And yeah. that we, if there's further discussion, we okay. discuss, and then. I see. Okay. Typically, after Rita tells us about it, there's not much. Okay. Okay. But sometimes there is but, another yeah. question you think of that uh, okay. wasn't asked. Okay, Article 7 and 8 are pretty much tied together. Article 7 is to will be for $2.3 million to um, do the... What do you guys keep looking at? The rain's Downpouring. pouring. All I can hear is the rain. Oh, it's raining? It's I can't <laughs> even hear it. I thought someone flushed the toilet or something. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's bad. So uh, to resurface um, Rhode Island Road, we're on the transportation improvement project uh, for the state. It's approximately $10 million. We're responsible for 20% for the engineering. Um, the federal government pays 80 and the state chips in 10%. 10 per, 10 but we're going to have to do, um, there's going to be temporary easements, um, some permanent easements, some takings along the roadway. Um, we on have sidewalks or no? Yes, on one side. Cool. We move in telephone poles? Cool. 105 oh telephone poles, maybe 107. And that's what's the expensive part of it. Mm -hmm. We should stick them on the ground. So it's, you know, to get an estimate, we're, we're thinking right now it's about 2.3 million. The appraiser's going to be about 50,000, and his appraisals have to be confirmed. That's probably another 10 to 11,000. Um, beta, um, beta group. We're not sure if some, if uh, the state is going to do some of the taking. So it's all a guesstimate at this point. And what will happen? And it will be a debt exclusion, and it's a borrowing. So it's, we're going to need two thirds vote. But what will be explained is any of the money that's left over, we can go back to town meeting and reappropriate it. Because Article 8 is for the road bond to do some other roads for $1.7 million. So total is $4 million. But the, they, they're not even going to be what's putting that a shovel like? in the ground until um, a, maybe a year from now. Are they connected? Could one pass and not one not pass? Or is it uh, both yeah. have to... Well, they could just do 79 yeah. and say no to the rest of the roads. Yeah. Okay. Or they could do the rest of the roads. And, and there's going to be a presentation and... on what roads. Freetown Street is up to the school, is in bad shape, and the drainage, as you know, everybody mm -hmm. coming yeah, down that hill. Uh, we've hired an engineer. He's come back with some recommendations. Um, so you, the plan is to spend the $1.7 and then if there's anything extra, do something else with it. Right. And it will go by priority. Precinct Street is going to be done shortly. That money we have um, from our Chapter 90 funds, so that one he will do. Um, and there'll be a, ha uh, a handout to give mm -hmm. into everyone. So it depends on what gets done and if there's money left over from Article 7, if the easements and takings aren't as much, and there's some room in there for construction, too. You can go back to town meeting and reappropriate what monies aren't used for and for some other roads. Cool. When would we borrow that? It would be, because uh, we don't. You wouldn't do the bonds right away. You do short term borrowings as you need it. Yeah. Bands, we call them, bond anticipation notes. Mm -hmm. You borrow uh, short term, and then once you know, just like the police station, we've been doing short term, two million, two million, two million. We're going to bond in June, um, 
and it will be seven million or less. So we'll do it as the project. Yep. As we find out what stuff's mm -hmm. going to cost. And they're, so they're one year bands, and yeah. then uh, you renew them. All right. So initially, the interest it will only be interest, no principal payments on the debt exclusion, just like what's happened on the police station. The taxpayers really haven't felt interest only on the police station. How much do you think it's going to be per house? I don't have. Um, well, I we have that for town meeting. I wonder that. That's a good point, Katie. Um, I actually have a um, the standard and yeah. call tomorrow. A prep preparation call. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. Just to put into perspective for people. I'm not sure if we would um, one do it ten years. Every month. I don't remember those. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, How what cost, it's going to average out For the to. cost of one coffee every week. Um, <laughs> we learned not to use that. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That was used on the library. Oh, was it? And Ten then again, year. wasn't it used again on something? It was. It was used on... I know when we did a 93, we borrowed a million to do all the roads. That's how much it's In 93? Yeah. Wow. When when um, we laid off everyone, I was born. Oh, you were born the in bond, oh, the road bond, <laughs> passed almost unanimously at the polls and at town meeting. But to keep the town open, we had to do a general override for four hundred and seventy million, and it failed on the third try. And then we closed the police station. We closed everything. Laid everybody off. Wow. And on the third try, it finally passed. So but the road bond. Million? No, what? 4 .7 million? You oh, said, no, you I, said 470 million. Did you mean 4.7? 4. 4. No, 1 million for the road bond, 570,000. Oh, okay. oh, I was like, when was our budget 470 yeah, million? <laughs> yeah, 570,000. Conservative uh, spending there. <laughs> no wonder they didn't approve it. <laughs> I wouldn't approve that. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 7. Second. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll do 8 also. Okay, Article 7. Okay, so Article 8. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 8. Second. Any discussion? Good. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Article 9 um, is updating the Old Colony Regional School District. Mm -hmm. Agreement. There's five communities in it. It hasn't been updated. I forget what year. It's very outdated. All the other communities have voted approval. Mm -hmm. Copeland and Page it was council for four out of the five communities. So it's um, just to update it to bring it into uh, conformity with Chapter 70. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 9. Second. Discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Article 10 is um, a zoning bylaw amendment right now. Uh, like I explained the other night, it's temporary licenses for mobile homes, mm -hmm. um, storage boxes, and I thought there was a third thing. Uh, well, um, but in general, you have to, uh, if you want to put a storage pot on your property long term. Um, you need to apply for a license in the mobile home. And like I said, there's, it never fails. The night of a selectman's meeting, it's happened three times, there was a fire. The uh, insurance company comes in the next day to get a um, temporary license to put a mobile home on the property. So I have to call a special meeting of the selectman. We want to, uh, the selectman want to put that authority to the building commissioner. Got it. Sense. And this will require two thirds. Any zoning does. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 10. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Article 11 is regarding uh, it's a zoning bylaw amendment in our um, site plan approval. And under the residential site plan review, for, um, it says 3,000 square feet. You disturb much more than that when you build a house. And the requirement for the EPA under the stormwater storm for residential is the acre 
43,560 square feet. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 11. Second. Discussion. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. And Article 12 is to accept Sataka Trail as a townway. Where is that? If you're going up Highland Road, app, do you know where Robbins Lane is mm. going yes. into Huckleberry? It's the next new road before oh, you get yeah. on the left. Yeah. Is Robbins? Um, That's a private way. Still? It never will be accepted. Oh, is that? It's is a that private road. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of Article 12. Second. Any discussion? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we have artists that we have a uh, meeting minutes we need to approve. Okay, you want, can we just finish? Oh, yeah, of course. The budget? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get through that. Okay, so. Darren, this is probably your first look it is. Uh, at what our budget document looks like. Um, so I, now that you've made your recommendation, I will have the town accountant fill in the FinCom recommendation column. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like I said, I think um, I'm only going to have a small, a couple of small changes, one of them being um, the park budget that's in here. Um, that's at the, um, I should have put them on the front, but I'm waiting to talk to Scott on did he include them? No, he didn't. So they're not here. But they're, they're expenses and revenues. Cool. So we'll fill in the uh, last column. And what I do, Darren, for um, all of the selectmen and all of the finance committee You'll get a, a binder, and in the front will be the warrant, and then there'll be tabs with the motion on each individual one. And I try to put explanations of what it is. Okay. Um, and it will say you need a two-thirds finance committee approved. Um, like the planning board held their hearings, they recommended approval on the zoning. I'll attach the copy of their letter. Try to give you as much information. Okay. Um, and so whoever's making the motion, um, you know, for the selectmen, uh, they don't, you know, like I put a little blurb about what that contractual retirement money is for. Yeah. Uh, just an explanation for the townspeople. Did IT go up so much in their salary because, like, contracted services and professional services went down? Right. Okay. We've got a, a really good guy that's... So we're um, cutting back on the other stuff? Yeah. Okay. So the increase in budget looks like what 1.3 million, one, a little less than 1.3 million from year to year. Is that uh, the revenues? Where does the additional 1.3 million come from compared to the year before? Our tax uh, rates didn't go up, right? Well, uh, they did. The tax rate did go up. Oh, it did. Okay. Well, actually, it didn't go up much, but values went up. Okay. So in new monies, we. Uh, we're using 566,401 on your budget summary. That's the two and a half uh, in your budget book. Oh, I'm sorry. And I, I've got new ones to hand out okay. tonight. Okay, great. And then uh, 350,000 new growth. So there's 866,000. And the schools increased um, almost 5%. They used pretty much all of our new funds. Okay. Okay. So why don't I pass these out? So from warrant, warrant review the other night, mm -hmm. I was um, short some money. And now um, I actually increased the 20000 to 35000 <laughs> okay. on the last page. But now I can't do that. So I technically have 15,000 plus eight. And what we've done is we've hired a temporary um, clerk 
um, that's been uh, cleaning out all of the records for us. I don't know if you remember Lola Curley. Uh, Sounds familiar. But... Yeah, she worked in my office. Okay. Uh, she is we're cleaning out the attic uh, of all the building plans and organizing them in the basement of Something's Brewing. And we're cleaning out the basement here, too, of our retention of records. So I figure I'll need her six months from July 1st going forward. Oh, okay. So I was going to, that's what the temporary clerk. Um, but now I've got to talk to Mitzi now that um, they told me to take any extra money and put it toward the contractual obligations. So is that a reduction of 15? What am I missing? Well, actually, you're right. So, well, no, you, no. What it was is I was only doing a hundred. Oh, okay. When we, uh, uh, that's I right. had already reduced it, but okay. then I reduced it another five. Got it. Okay. And oh, I know where the extra money came from. I finally got Bristol Aggies enrollment. Ooh. Okay, I Sit was down. using. <laughs> um, they told me it was sixteen students. The tuition didn't go up. It's actually fifteen students. Nice. Plus thirteen thousand in transportation. So I was carrying. I think 335, and it's it's highlighted in yellow. It's 315, 655. So that's where that uh, 15 plus 8, I had about uh, 23,000. Cool. So from warrant review, that's really my only two changes. So, and what I'll probably do if there's like $655, I'll just... Uh, change estimated receipts, you know, wh whenever there's any extra money. So we paid $2 million to Old Colony. Is that right? Am I reading that correctly? Yeah, almost $2 million. Wow. We have 102 students going. And if you look in your uh, budget book under the schools, it will show and give the breakdown for every community. Oh. We, we're a member, so we don't pay as much as... Freetown, they're not a member. Okay. Freetown pays about $18,000 a student to go oh. to um, Old Colony. But there's a good breakdown in your budget. Okay, I'll take a look. Thank you. It, it breaks it down by uh, minimum required, Chapter 70, reimbursement, transportation. Do they have to be approved to go? Can, can If they get in, anyone can go there? Or is there a process where every student has to be approved? Oh, they have, Old Colony has high standards. Right. No, but I mean yeah. from a Lakeville paying for it perspective. Oh, no. If they get in, yeah. Lakeville pays for it. Yep. Okay. Um, why did the health insurance rebate go up so much? It went from 70 to 115 Because we had a lot of people take advantage of it. Which five thousand? Well, some of them are family plans, and some are. Is that where if they don't take it, they get twenty five hundred for a single, and five thousand if it's a, if they're eligible for a family, and the family plan right now is about twenty six thousand. How many people are left that can choose to do that? Um, what do you what do you mean? Well, like um, you can only opt to do it once, right? No, every year. We pay them every year to not Absolutely. take it. Absolutely. If they opt out, it right? costs yeah. us oh, every yeah. year if we yeah. pay, if they don't opt out. So you wouldn't want them to just it's do it It's a savings, day. Katie. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 26, 5,000. Sometimes it's, they make them uh, have to be on it. So people jump on it for the year, and you pay twenty six thousand for them to opt out the next year. Why do? You, why would you do that? Where it's costing you seventeen thousand for them to opt out and be eligible for it the next year. We're saving money. Even at the fifty fifty, any new employees now where it's at fifty fifty. So that's several. Um, Four or five thousand more employees have to pay now for health insurance, going from seventy-five twenty-five to fifty-fifty. Cool. Any other questions on that? No. And then I wasn't sure if you want to see the latest assessment sheet from the region. Mm -hmm. I think I saw this already. You already? I had handed it out. Thank you.
And I'm not making, you know, I, I think you guys are probably sick of me handing out budget pages for your book. Uh, as I've adjusted them, I haven't done any more. The last handout I have is the capital plan. that shows what we approved. And the one you've changed, if you've seen it from the one in your book, uh, under highway uh, for stormwater management, it's like the fifth one down. Mm -hmm. We're paying 90000 this year uh, to do year one and two. And then in 2021, it's 50, then 72, 65, which when this all first started, we thought we were going to be paying like a quarter of a million dollars a year. So we have hired EPG. Uh, they did our notice of intent. They've done our stormwater plan. Uh, and now we have to start doing some of the real work uh, with the catch basins and all of that. Cool. We good, guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we're good. Okay. We'll see where they are next year. <laughs> and so then when the books are ready, Darren, yes. what I do is I'll... Um, Typically, I'm here that Friday night, but I might have them done early. I'm already working on the motions. Cool. With Lorraine helping me, it's been a lot better. Um, I'll leave them at the fire station so that you can have them to look over the weekend before the town meeting. Okay, great. Thank you. And then I'll post you. You don't need to meet early that night, right? I'll just post you for no. 6.30. Yeah. We're good for yeah. just the session. You semester. voted your recommendations. Yeah, so what is our role that evening other than um, sitting up there? So... Uh, as a group, we'll recommend approval. Uh, so we'll basically review what we already did. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll just say the Finance Committee recommends approval. The moderator and will ask. You. We'll, we'll ask us for yeah. Yeah, what our recommendation is. And then um, if there's any discussion, sometimes people want to hear from the Finance Committee and how we arrived at a decision. And, you know, we would just, there's nothing real controversial here. Um, Last but, year was. Yeah. Or oh, was it the. The, fall the petition, water. yeah. Yeah. The petitions. Um, so I don't really expect much, but you never know. Things mm -hmm. come up on the floor that. Right. So just be prepared to, you know. You can't see anything. It's very bright. Yeah, you, oh, can't, you can't see. see you can't see how you can barely. It's very bright and very. You hot. can only see the first couple of people yeah. in the mm -hmm. row. It's super bright and super hot up there. And then your retinas are burned off. So okay. That's great. That's. Is it suit attire? Uh, no, no. Honestly, like, like I'm overdressed for. For the meeting. Right. Right. <laughs> so typically, like some people wear polos, you can wear whatever you want. Okay. Just wear something. Just wear something? Don't, just don't wear nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. <laughs> can do that. Okay. So then on the minutes, I do want to apologize. I have more sets to approve. Actually, two sets are from budget meetings okay. last May 2018. Where my office is way behind on minutes. Uh, Christine. Um, Tracy's doing all the minutes. Okay. So I know there's two sets in May, which you ha you met with the Board of Selectmen, so it's m me just cutting off uh, that. So I tried to go through. I know there's several more, okay. and I know that um, what we'll have to do, because um, we'll, we'll have to uh, vote to invoke the rule of necessity okay. for the meeting minutes. Yeah. You want to make a uh, motion to invoke motion. the rule of necessity to approve that? Motion to invoke the rule of necessity to approve meeting, meeting minutes from earlier. On the agenda, yeah. As Early. listed on the agenda. But Second. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. You guys are getting this. <laughs> you pick your battles, right? Yeah, there's not much discussion here, I don't think, so... 
Are we going to go through and you're going to, are we just going broad, all of them together? Uh, if you want to chop them up. All, all together is fine. You can read it all uh, all at once. Yes, all at but once. But you want to vote on invoking the rule of necessity first? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes, okay. uh, so all those in favor? Aye. 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 Involved in any of these, can I and then you can just a read a motion to approve the meeting minutes from. Okay, so I can make this motion, right? Yep. All right. So I make a motion to approve to review. No, no just to, to approve. approve the meeting minutes for November thirteenth, two thousand seventeen, March fifth, two thousand eighteen, April eighteenth, two thousand eighteen, April thirtieth, two thousand eighteen, June fourth, two thousand eighteen, November and November thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. Second. Second. Third. <laughs> I don't care. Katie can do it. Katie, I really don't care. <laughs> all right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I think we need to jazz up these meetings a little bit. And then what I'll try to do when we we meet with the selectmen to vote the tran other transfers. Okay. Like if we're at the senior center, maybe you guys can go into the other room if nobody's in there. I'll try to have more minutes for you. Okay, great. That's right. it. Can I answer any other questions for no. town meeting? No. Can I, I make think a motion good. to adjourn? We don't have anything else? No. no second. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.